What's up everybody, my name is Grace and in this video today I'm here to show you all my streaming setup. If you don't know me, I stream full time on Twitch as well as create content across the internet using this setup behind me. So without further ado, let's jump into the tour. So here is my setup that I use for all of my content creation as well as my day-to-day -day gaming. I'm going to explain everything individually about how and why I use it, starting from the left side of the desk. So first up, we have my monitors. The first monitor on the left side is in portrait mode, and this one I use primarily for Twitch chat. Having this monitor in portrait mode allows me to have my Twitch chat in full screen, which means I don't miss anything. Moving on to my middle monitor, which I use for gaming. Most of the time you'll find me playing PC games, but I also have this monitor hooked up to my Xbox, my PlayStation and my Switch. Both this monitor and the one in portrait mode are the Omen 25 inch 240 Hz monitors and I have them on the monitor arms so that it basically looks like they're floating. Above the center display is my camera and my ring light. The camera is one of my newer additions to the setup. It is a Sony A5100 with a Sigma 16mm 1.4 lens. The output of this camera is absolutely beautiful. As you guys can probably tell, I've put so much hard work and effort into this setup and creating a space that is really unique to me, and this camera really does it justice. To really make this camera shine, I use the Spectrum Aurora 19 inch ring light. Now you've probably noticed this isn't the only light source in the room, but I will cover the others a little later. As you can see on the back of the ring light, there are two control knobs. One is the color temperature and the other is the brightness. I have the ring light sitting on a small tripod and the camera is mounted in between the ring, which just allows really even lighting around my face. Moving on down to my peripherals. My peripherals do tend to swap and change as I try out new gear, but currently I'm using the Logitech G915 TKL wireless light speed keyboard. It is quite a mouthful, but it is a fantastic piece of tech. I am a big fan of this keyboard. I love the fact that it's wireless. This keyboard is super sleek, it's slim, and with the tactile switches, the key presses are relatively quiet. It also has some super convenient media keys on the side. I use the volume slider and also the pause button a lot to control my music while I'm streaming. The wrist rest that I'm using is actually from the G513 keyboard. I love that keyboard so much, but when the wireless stuff started coming out, I had to retire it into the cupboard. Moving on to my mouse, and definitely the reason why I'm such a beast at FPS, is the G502 wireless gaming mouse. I honestly have nothing negative to say about this mouse. I think ergonomically it's pretty much perfect. It's beautiful looking, it's responsive, and the programmable buttons are just where I want them to be. Underneath the peripherals is the giant Logitech G840 Extra Large Gaming Mouse Pad. This thing has a ton of real estate, so if you guys use a low DPI on your mouse, you won't run out of space. Moving on, I just wanted to give a little mention to the Astro A40s. These are no longer my current headset, but they're definitely the headset that I've used the most. And I actually give away a set of Astro A40 TRs every single month on my Twitch channel. But I'll talk about my current headset more a little later in the video. Next up, let's talk about probably the most important piece of tech in any content creator's setup, the microphone. This is the Rode NT1 microphone. It is something that I've been using for probably about three years. I know it was in my last setup. So I've been using this mic for an incredibly long time and it is because it is just such a good piece of tech. The NT1 is a cardioid condenser microphone and I have it plugged into the AI1 audio interface. The microphone, the audio interface, the pop filter and the shock mount are actually part of the Rode Complete Studio kit which I also happen to give away every single month on Twitch as well. This mic kit is pretty much good to go straight out of the box. You might want to add a little bit of compression, noise suppression or noise gate depending on your environment and your energy on stream. As I mentioned earlier, something that's super important in my setup is the lighting and you'll have probably noticed the Nanoleaf panels on the walls. I have three arrays of Nanoleaf panels if I'm facing my camera. I have one in front of me, one to my right side, and one behind me. These panels are all strategically placed to create a really vibrant and warm feel to the space. 
Depending on the game that I'm streaming or recording, that will determine what colors I use. So if I'm playing a horror game, I'll usually make everything really red and really creepy looking. Or if I'm playing a really bright, vibrant game, the lights will reflect that as well. The Nanoleaf panels can be controlled via an app on your phone or also using the desktop app. Something that is relatively new is the screen mirroring, which looks super freaking cool when you're playing Fall Guys because that game is just a color explosion. You can select different parts of your screen or have it mirror the entire thing. And there are four different modes you can set it to if you want it like really reactive or more of a chill vibe. These are definitely more of a luxury item. They're not 100% necessary for a gaming setup, but they have the ability to completely transform the space. And for me as a streamer, trying to provide a really unique kind of space, these Nanoleaf panels have done wonders. As I mentioned previously, I do play a little bit of console, but primarily on PC. So my consoles are kind of tucked in the back. I have the PS4 Pro, the Nintendo Switch, and the Xbox One X. I basically just use these consoles whenever there's an exclusive that I can't play on PC. PC is always my preference, especially in FPS. I cannot aim with a controller. As soon as I made the switch to keep on a mouse and got relatively good at it, I just, I, I can't go back. In front of the consoles is my Omen X 35 inch curved monitor. This monitor has a whole heck of a lot of real estate. I have my Discord, my bot, my OBS preview, Steam, everything kind of lives over on this monitor because it is out of my line of sight, but I can glance over to it if I do need to see anything. It's definitely a good idea to have that information close by, but you don't want to be too fixated on your preview. Once you get some Twitch experience behind you and after you've you know, broadcasted a few hundred times, you can kind of trust that your output is on point. Below the monitor is the Elgato Stream Deck XL. Elgato makes some really great quality of life items for streamers like me, and this Stream Deck is no exception. This bad boy has 32 buttons on it, which you can program to do a huge range of different things. It's one of those things that you don't really know that you need until you have it, and then you cannot live without it. And that is actually the perfect segue to talk about the other Elgato products that I use. I'm not able to physically show you guys the products because they're tucked away really neatly within my cable management. I use the Elgato Cam Link to capture my camera and output that to my stream, and also the HD60S to capture all of my console gameplay. And the two other Elgato products that I use within my setup are the key lights, one of which I have above my desk, and one is mounted below, pointed to the floor. If any of you are not familiar with a green screen, you may not know this, but using a green screen, you need to make sure the lighting is really consistent. Otherwise, the chroma key just does not work. In order to combat the pains of using a green screen, I figured mounting a key light to the bottom of my desk would create a really smooth fill light on the green screen and make the keying look better. And I can tell you, it freaking works. I don't always stream or record with a green screen. I save it for those moments when I really want to immerse my audience into the game. For example, when I played The Last of Us 2, I used a green screen to try and minimize the amount of real estate that my face took up. Having a hybrid setup, meaning being able to use the green screen or not use the green screen, just allows me more freedom with my content and I can finally wear things with green on it. This is the Elgato green screen. You can just pull it up or put it down and tuck it away when you don't want to use it. I, I would have killed for this a few years ago. So if I do decide that I want to go full immersion mode during a really visually beautiful game for my audience, I'll pull the green screen up, chuck on the chroma key and it's good to go. Next up, we have my day-to-day -day headset, the Astro A50s. This is a headset that I've upgraded to from the A40s, and the main reason for that is the fact they are wireless. As you may have noticed in this video, or if you're familiar with my setup from the past, I use an adjustable sit-stand desk, and when I'm standing, I like to have a lot more freedom to move around. Therefore, a wireless headset is a must. And just to tease you guys a little bit longer, we're not gonna jump to the PC just yet, Let's talk about the desk and my chair. I've been on the search for the perfect desk for a very long time, and I think this one comes pretty close. Unfortunately, if you're in the market for something similar, this is discontinued. I got it from a local store called Officeworks, which all of my Australian friends will be more than familiar with, but it is a monster curved sit-stand height adjustable desk. This desk allows you to program your stand height and your sit height, so you just have to press a single button. 
As someone who is a health and fitness advocate, I think it's really important to set a good example and sitting for, you know, six, seven, eight hours straight playing games is not the best thing for your body. So when I'm streaming, I try to change it up between sitting and standing to make sure that my body stays in optimal condition. When I do choose to sit down, I use the Secret Lab Soft Weave Omega in charcoal. If you live in a warmer climate, the soft weave fabric is super nice and definitely prevents a little bit of that sweatiness. Now, before we move on, let's take a quick look underneath the desk. As I've mentioned a few times, I always wanna to try to minimize cables and this cable management allows me to do that. Under my desk, I have two big cable trays that are drilled into the bottom, as well as some umbilicals that route them through each other and lead out into my PowerPoint. Inside these cable trays, you also find the cam link and the H260S, which is why they're not visible, because they are all tucked away really neatly within these trays. Cable management can be a little tricky with sit-stand desks, because obviously the desk is going to be raising and lowering consistently. But that is why you'll notice that everything that I have is either on top of the desk or mounted to it. And I mean, I don't mean to brag, but it looks pretty damn clean. And now let's finally talk about the PC. This beautiful machine was built for me, custom by Omen, Red Bull, and Nvidia. The chassis is the standard Omen X case, but it is custom painted in a metallic grace blue. On the side, it has this beautiful big window so we can see all of those amazing components on the inside. This PC is liquid cooled and as you can see, it is hooked up to a Red Bull can reservoir. But I do feel the need to point out quickly and just to clarify in case anybody was confused, it's not actually got Red Bull running through the liquid cooling, it is using the proper coolant in matte blue. Inside this absolute beast of a PC, I have an Intel i9 processor, there are dual 2080 Ti's with NVLink and 64 gig of DDR4 RAM. There are also three three terabyte drives in a RAID 5 configuration for more re-performance and redundancy. There are also some RGB fans and light strips to give it that extra pop. There are a lot of streamers out there that use a dual PC setup, which I've heard great things about, but this bad boy is more than capable of handling my streams. I just love the look of this thing. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I am absolutely in love with it. And I love that I can have it in the frame of my streams. I'll pop up a quick little clip so you guys can see how my streams look. And it's just chilling there in the background, looking beautiful. And look at that, we've got ourselves a perfect segue about the next thing that I wanna talk about, which is the display. Now I'm not gonna go through and explain every single tiny collectible because I've collected a lot of stuff over the years, but let's do a quick overview. The most prominent feature you may notice is the Red Bull neon sign. I am sponsored by Red Bull. I've been working with them for probably about three years now. We've done some really fun stuff together and they're just such a great company to work with. Just next to the Neon is the Red Bull mini fridge. This is something that I get a lot of questions about, like where can I get one? How do I get one? It's one of the perks of being part of the Red Bull family and it is incredibly convenient. If I'm starting to fade a little bit and I need to revitalize, whether it's to stay sharp for my squad or I need to fuel my body for my next workout, I can just pop behind me and grab a cold one. I'm really proud of this display. It's been such a long time in the making. This whole room has just been in my head forever. I've really tried to make this space unique and uniquely grace. I found these shelves and then putting the lighting behind them and the nano leaves and all of my different collectibles. I'm just so, so happy with this space and I hope you guys love it. But that is all for the video today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I did want to say a massive thank you to my sponsors for providing a lot of this gear. And having said that, if you have any questions about any of the tech included in this video, pop it down in the comments below. If you do want to see any more of my face, as I mentioned, I stream on Twitch and I would love to see you over on my streams.